<laughs> Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. All right, so we're gonna get one of the uh, elemental orb quests done today. Or started today. I don't know about done. I'm trying to record this quest line like twice actually, and you know my recordings have both been bad, so that's not cool. Yeah. Anyway, cold reception. The people of this town deserve justice. Fighting off or fighting the dragons off is working for now, but we need to find the source. I have a lot of leads to follow, and I could use another pair of eyes to help me investigate, as well as another pair of hands to help me fight. If you think you're up to the challenge, I have a lead I'd like you to look into. There's a cave in the base of, the, of an icy mountain to the northwest of here. The people say that it was once the home of a dragon. One of the big ones. A great dragon. I think this dragon is cut and run. The, tribe, or the cave is now... Home to a tribe of Kilguins who call themselves the Killywilly tribe. <laughs> Check out the cave, look for any sign of the dragon, and try to keep your eyes open for any unusual artifacts. Whatever you... return to me with whatever you find. Watch your back. Alright. So Galanoth's whole thing is that he's a dragon slayer. Which is pretty cool. But, as far as, like, he's very specialized in fighting dragons, so, uh, you know, that might be a bit of a problem. Or, like, his moves revolve around doing damage to dragons. <clears throat> Ow. <clears throat> Rather than other things. Ooh, nice, 100. Like right here, uh, guaranteed crit against dragons, increases your damage against dragons. He has a dagger toss though, so that's cool. And the dagger looks different than the one I throw or the one that Valencia throws, so nice variety there. I ended up leveling up in the process of trying to get this recorded the other two times, so that's nice at least, because now I have a, uh, you know, fire-based weapon for the ice level. That helps. Well, I can't help but feel like this game is going slower than it was before. Oh. See, so even if we start running out of mana or anything, we don't really have to worry too much because, well, there's a healing pad right at the beginning of the level. Oh, it didn't get them. These Kilguins are jerks, though, if you can't get them stunned. Like, that attack that they have right there, not great. I'm not a fan. Ooh, 101? That was sick. Yeah, two hit attack, it's like 50 apiece, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs>
Dragon magic. Nice. I'm not quite sure what the uh, dragon magic there is supposed to do when it says that. Is it boosting my damage? I'm not sure. Like occasionally there will be an extra dot or something if you uh, get something that says something like that, but you know, it's not the case at the moment. Oh, I thought I was going to get by without having to fight that one. Ah yes, three of them this time. Oh, I should have, I should have hit my magic potion. Whoops. Anyway, let's kick one of them in the shin. Didn't do anything. See, like taking full damage attacks from three of these things. <laughs> will eat at your health real quick. Thankfully I'm blocking, but you know. Oh, nice. Oh, seriously? Nerve. Man, they're gonna kill Galanoff. I'm just gonna go for it on this guy here. Galanoff can finish off the one guy that, uh, well, he could finish off either of these guys, but we're going to finish off the one guy that only has one HP left. Oh, there he goes. We're just going to save ourselves some time here and finish him off this way. Ah. Oh. Not that it really matters. This is, in fact, the last battle. And then we just have this weird little memory game. I've had to do this way more times than I am cool with at this point. <laughs> it just kind of goes on for a little too long. It's like it doesn't want to respond. That was weird. Okay, I think I technically got that one to open. Either that or I broke the game. Okay, cool. I was worried for a second.
All right, I think I, I think the same thing happened there. No, that was a key. No, that was a red thing. Okay, here's a red thing. I forget where you are now. You were, what the? You were a red thing, and you were a red thing. Whoa. Um, okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Hmm. You see, like, I think one of the biggest signs that this little memory game drags on for too long is probably that it, uh, whoops repeats the designs several times, right? I mean, if you've got if you've got some with some unique shapes, then fair enough, but the same things pop up several times at this point. All right, band band you 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 and you. And then we found this here locket. You found this in the cave? <clears throat> these, these were my parents. When I was a child, they were killed in a dragon attack. Since that time, I've been able, trying to track down the great fire dragon who killed my family. The trail led me here when it went cold. No pun intended. So this is where he was hiding, but why would a fire dragon make his home in the ice and snow? What is going on here? Thank you. I gave up on finding this years ago. It means a lot to me. We still have a town to save, but now thanks to you, I'm still on the trail of the great fiery menace. Akrilov. The ice dra or the dragon's vault was empty except for a locket from Galanoth's childhood. It seems that this dragon, Akrilov, and Galanoth have some history together. And we don't need Moglin Berry Juice. Okay, so it looks like the recording is not just still frames, so that's good. I can continue. Uh, heal and potions, please, and invite Galanoth. Now, unfortunately, this next quest is kind of boring, because it's mostly just... Oh, as soon as this town is safe, you can bet that I'll be back on Ak... Kriloth's tail. In no time, but for now we have work to do. The last human settlement to fall was a village named Frode, so its trail should be the freshest there. Frode was built high upon a glacial cliff, but that didn't save them from the attacks. Now the ruins are swarming with scavengers. Normally the frost goblins would have first right to loot the ruins, but a fierce tribe of armored polar bears have shown up. This tribe calls themselves the Ursice Savages. That's a great name. And they will break from, and they will take a break from driving off the frost goblins if you show up. Fight your way to the remains of the village. Excuse me. And look for any clues that might lead us to the ice dragons who destroyed the village. 
Return to me with whatever you find. Watch your back. So this one's a little boring because you have to just fight everything on the screen. And it's kind of lame that way. Not to mention the first time I tried this, I did it without a companion, and I lost. <laughs> first and foremost, I didn't have a fire weapon, so there's that. And then I got to like the last encounter, as I learned when I beat the stupid mission. And then I died, because I had just run out of mana, basically. Which, by extension, meant I got whittled away in the health department as I, uh, kept fighting. falling asleep. This doesn't make any sense. I'm using this hand. <clears throat> so yeah, I might like skip forward after I show off this last enemy here. Oh, I should have stunned him. Oh, I got him with painful shins. Never mind. He should be dead here in a second. Yeah, I like this guy's uh, defeat animation. Look at that. <laughs> he just narrowly avoids his axe falling on him. So yeah, anyway, I'm probably skipping forward to when we uh, have all of these cleared out. 